welcome to the board in the previous board we have discussed segmentation canny edge detection method this is the continuation one here we are discussing region based segmentation uh, so first we need to know region growing what is a region how we can um, increase or decrease increase the region so that uh, the the so that the region based segmentation is possible now what is region growing region growing is a procedure that groups pixels or sub regions into larger regions so uh, we are grouping uh, we are grouping the pixels or sub regions into larger regions we are forming the sub regions the groups of pixels into large regions that is called that procedure is called the region growing and the approach of this how we can ap approach this the simplest of these approaches is pixel aggregation by the approach of pixel aggregation it is possible region growing is possible with the pixel aggregation starts with the set of seed points seed points are nothing but the group of pixels within we are select in an image we are selecting pixels each pixel is a seed point the group of pixels so set of seed points means group of pixels we are selecting so a set of seed points uh, we are starting with the set of seed points selection and from these grows regions by appending to each seed points those neighboring pixels that have similar properties so uh, we are se selecting set of seed points within among the seed points we are selecting these seed points suppose and these seed points whenever we are selecting another seed point then obviously uh, the region is growing suppose here i'm um, selecting another seed point then the region is again growing up to here in this way so appending to each seed points those neighboring pixels that have similar properties we are not selecting all the seed points only those which are having similar properties we are selecting uh, what are, uh, what is meant by similar properties similar properties means such as gray level texture color shape based upon our requirement we are selecting based, uh, as uh, these are the parameters based on these parameters properties we are selecting neighboring pixels and we are selecting set of seed points so that our region is growing uh, region growing based techniques are better than the edge based techniques previously we have seen canny edge detection method so here it is saying region growing based techniques are better than edge based techniques in noisy images where edges are difficult to detect why it is better means in noisy uh, images uh, edges are difficult to detect that's why region growing uh, method is better one now so we have seen how to grow a region now region based segmentation for region we already discussed eight connectivity and four connectivity so here suppose we are taking region growing based on eight connectivity then we know the input is f of x comma y this is our input image array and s of x comma y is the seed array containing ones seeds and zeros and q of x comma y is the predicate it is the it is representing the predicate so we will discuss now the 
vision drawing based on eight connectivity how within eight connectivity to do this first the procedure is first find all connected components in s of x comma y and erode each connected components to one pixel label all such pixels found as one all other pixels in s are labeled as zero so all pixels uh, first we are eroding okay each connected component to one pixel we already discussed the eroding so first we are performing uh, eroding to uh, on each connected components to one pixel then we are giving the labels all such pixels found as one so within the image uh, those pixels having one value we are finding that one and labeling that one and also we are labeling all other pixels in s are labeled with the zero and then form an image f of q such that at a pair of coordinates x comma y let f of q of x comma y is equal to 1 if the q is satisfied otherwise f q of x comma y is equal to 0 this we have to form the q then let g be an image formed by appending to each seed point in s or all the one value points in f of q that are eight connected to that seed point so after seed point connected um, in the eight connected one then label such connected components in g with a different region label this is the segmented image obtained by region growing so here this uh, q value is true if the absolute difference of the intensities between the seed and the pixel at x comma y is less than or equal to t and otherwise it is false now we will see an example suppose we have the image this one so these are the values pixel values use the region growing idea to segment this object the seed for the object is center of the image so this one this is the center of the image this is our first seed this is our first seed region is growing in horizontal and horizontal and vertical directions and when the difference between two pixel values is less than or equal to 5 this is the based upon this condition property we are selecting the seed okay within this now see here within this first we are using the region growing idea to segment the object the seed for the object is the center of the image region is grown in horizontal and vertical directions and when the difference between two pixel values is less than five then within the eight connectivity this is the output see here this is our seed value <coughs> our condition is less than or equal to five so see here 60 64 yes selected 10 it is greater we are not selected it is 59 greater than 5 not selected uh, means only horizontal and vertical direction so it, this cross we we are not considering 60 64 yeah selected and 60 60 yeah selected and 64 69 yeah less uh, 
equal to 5 selected in this way 4 connectivity is selected and from the 4 connectivity now we are selecting 8 connectivity so these are the pixel values selected based upon that and within the image how we will get the output of region growing so this is the x-ray image of defective weld defective weld here the welding is uh, defected one not uh, done correctly and for this this is the histogram this is the histogram and initial seed image is this one this is the initial seed image so the points are enlarged here all the points are enlarged or uh, for these one the seeded points and the absolute value of the difference between uh, this original and the seeded is this one and histogram of uh, uh, this one is this one okay and difference image thresholded using threshold value then our uh, this is uh, this one we are getting by the threshold value then difference image thresholded with the smallest of the dual threshold is this one then segmentation result obtained by region growing upon this is the this one output in this way we are doing the region based segmentation now another type is the region splitting and merging so we have seen edge growing now we are seeing region splitting region growing we have seen so now we are seeing region splitting and how to merging the regions uh, so here we are taking the entire image region as r we are representing it with the r and the entire image uh, r is represented with the r i and here we are taking q as a predicate now how to do region splitting and matching for that for any region r i this one if q of r i is equal to false means the predicate of r i is equal to false then we divide the image r i into quadrants okay so whenever the predicate of r i is equal to false then we are dividing the r i into quadrants this is the region splitting and when no further splitting is possible merge any adjacent rj and rk for which q of rj union rk is equal to true so uh, we are dividing splitting the region splitting the region into quadrants by this condition and when we are stopping the splitting of regions whenever there is no further splitting is possible then we are applying the match of adjacent regions rj and rk for which q of rj union rk is equal to true and then stop when no further merging is possible means within the image all the regions are merged so no further merging is possible then we are stopping this is the procedure method of region splitting and merging now see an example so this total is the r and this is ri means r1 r2 r3 r4 and, and so on so first this is the r our image is partitioned now corresponding to quadrants quadrants means four parts 
current means 4 so r1 r2 r3 r4 this one this this and this total this total is the r4 and again we are further are splitting so this 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 so again this is further splitting into quadrants in this way we can uh, split the regions and within the image how we can split the image see this is the image of sinus loop supernova taken in the x-ray band by nasa telescope and this is uh, the result of limiting the smallest allowed quadrant regions into 32 by 32 16 by 16 this is 32 by 32 and this is 16 by 16 and this is 8 by 8 pixels respectively then so in this way we can split and diagnose the disease and anything whatever we want to diagnose from the image now we are entering into main uh, segmentation uh, important algorithm which is segmentation using morphological watersheds what is this the watershed model for the watershed model we need three types of points in a topographic interpretation what is meant by topographic topographic means relating to the arrangement of the physical features of an area and so uh, topographic uh, means we are taking we are arranging uh, the physical features of an area suppose this is the area uh, within this area some physical features are there we are arranging them and what is meant by interpolate interpretation interpretation uh, we are interpreting these physical features within the area this is the first point first type and next points at which a drop of water would fall to a single minimum means the catchment basin or watershed of that minimum what is meant by watershed this is the watershed uh, method the watershed means actually it is a uh, any surface any area from which run runoff resulting from rainfall is collected and drained through a common point so uh, the collected rainfall is drained through common point the base basement catchment basin okay that is the watershed so uh, the po uh, second type is points at which a drop of water would fall to a single minimum that is then the third type is the third topographic interpretation is points at which a drop of water would be equally likely to fall to more than one minimum second type is a, at a single minimum here more than one minimum so that the divide lines or watershed lines are collected see these are the examples for this example the, uh, the watershed line is this one this is the watershed line and these are the catchment basins so the minima minimum is this one so this is single minima this is more than one single minimas so the uh, water lines the points are dropped from this line watershed lines are collected and arranged in the at the minima okay this is watershed method now we will see an example 
backgrounds of the watershed the segmentation using morphological watersheds backgrounds c uh, it is the one dimensional example of watershed segmentation and gray level profile of image data is this one the watershed segmentation local minima of gray level altitude yields catchment basins local maxima define the watershed lines see all this 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 all these are watersheds and these are the catchment basins the minima values so within that example see here the example of the watershed segmentation the objective is to find watershed lines these watershed lines it is to find these watershed lines is the objective and the idea is simple behind for object for the object objective finding watershed lines suppose that a hole is punched in each regional minima and that entire topography is flooded from below by letting water rise through the holes at a uniform rate so whenever we are punching in the minima here suppose do the punching then at that place the entire topography flood the water is flooded out to the below here to the below so letting water rise through this hole at a uniform rate from the hole the uniform rate uh, uh, equal rate of water is flooding out and when rising water in distinct catchment basins is about the merge and it means uh, the falling out water drops suppose we are collecting in a basin catchment basin then that is called the merge we are collecting all the water drops here that is called the merge we know merge is uh, merge means combining combining two or more a dam is built to preventing merge merging so we can also uh, prevent the merging by building a dam these dam boundaries correspond to the watershed lines so these dam boundaries these are the boundaries dams are correspond to the watershed models for that here you can see the watershed segmentation this is the original image input topographic view of the image is this one this this one and two stages of watersheds water flooding from here and here this is one type this is another type and result of further flooding result of further flooding see uh the pixel values are reducing because uh, as a water they are floating out into the basin we are catching within the basin so here further flooding has happened resulted and beginning merging of water from two catchments here we are uh, merging the catchments from here a short dam was built between them and final watershed is this one this is the final output of the watershed segmentation algorithm now the summary of the watershed algorithm watershed segmentation algorithm the algorithm starts with start with all pixels with the lowest possible value the lowest possible value we we are selecting pixel value we starting with that these form the basis for initial watersheds these form the basis for initial watersheds and for each intensity level k 
for each group of pixels of intensity k first if adjacent to exactly one existing region add these pixels to that region else if adjacent to more than one existing regions mark as boundary else start a new region okay so based upon the condition we do form a region new region and we will see that in a example the algorithm so uh, actually watershed algorithm is used the gradient image instead of the original image so image of blobs is this one and this is the image of gradient so these are the water lines water la watershed lines superimposed on original image original image so uh, this is the uh, result of watershed algorithm and when we see the watershed algorithm so suppose if adjacent to exactly one existing region only one existing region then the intensity k the, that is add these pixels to the region so this is region only single region exactly one existing region so add add them into region add those pixels into region else if adjacent to more than one existing regions mark as boundary so if this is the single pixel add them into region otherwise if these are the continuous more than one existing regions then a mark cut as a boundary else start a new region otherwise start with the new region that is watershed algorithm now we will see now k means clustering so uh, we uh, we already know what is clustering and here a point you have to catch up what is that point the clustering whatever the uh, advanced topics and uh, new topics uh, up to the machine learning and up to the deep learning everything everything as a part of the image processing okay within the part of the image processing subject everything included within the image processing subject and each topic within the within the image processing is more elaborately formed as a separate subject with the deep uh, uh, content and uh, uh, content and information the uh, other subjects are formed based upon and within the content of the image processing now what is meant by k means clustering you already know this partition the data points into k clusters randomly here the data points means the pixel values and find the centroid of each cluster we already know we finding the centroid center pixel the selection of the center pixel that is nothing but the find the centroid of each cluster and for each data point calculate the distance from the data point to each cluster assign the data point to the closest cluster these two we have to do calculate the distance from the data point to each cluster and assign the data point to the closest cluster then recompute the centroid of each cluster this is the repetition process repeat step 2 and step 3 now here is the stopping condition until there is no further change in the assignment of data points 
or in the centroids. Until this condition reaching up to there, we have to process these two steps. Now, I'll show you an example here. See this example. So, this is the k uh, Upon this, we are applying the k mean clustering. So, first, we are uh, finding the centroid points here and here. Uh, zoom the video and uh, see and observe the points. Then, we throw some points here. Marked here means these points. We moved those points into this cluster. Okay. And again, we calculated another centroid points. And again, we moved some other and formed the data points here. And see here and here. See, and next centroid, next centroid. So, in this way, we calculated and moved the cluster and formed the cluster. And in the real time image, how we are, uh, uh, what is the output we can get from the cluster operation means, see this example. So, but within this example, it, this is the original one. And after finding the cluster points and forming the clustering, doing the clustering, this is the output. And this is the original and this is the clustered image. So, uh, you can clearly uh, got the difference between original and clustered one. By the clustered one, you can diagnose or find out something whichever we require. And now, with in this board, we covered the topics region-based segmentation, region splitting and merging, watershed segmentation algorithm, k-means clustering. And the syllabus covered for the MCA, the syllabus is covered, already we uh, covered unit 1 and unit 2 completely. Image enhancement, all the filtering operations we completed. And image segmentation we completed by this uh, board. And morphology is also completed. So, total fourth unit is completed. Next coming we, uh, lectures are upon image completion. Then our syllabus is totally completed for the MCA and to the BTEC IT students already unit 1 and unit 2 completed and morphological image processing is also completed and image segmentation fourth unit is completed by this board. Next in the next videos image compression will be completing then your syllabus is completed so, so to all the lectures you can follow Tritvajyoti Kiran blogspot.com and YouTube Tritvajyoti we will meet you on the next board